On this slide, we're going to be talking about twisted pair. Now, this is a twisted pair cable. Uh, twisted pair can be made for inside or outside, and it mainly depends on the type of insulation you use to cover the copper. Now, this is a four pair twisted pair cable, and as you can see, each pair is twisted differently, and this is all necessary for twisted pair to work properly. Another requirement for twisted pair is that each pair, the wires has to be the same length. So each wire has to be the same length and also the same diameter. That means this, the, on, the wire on the inside has to be the same thickness for both wires. And we're going to compare single or twisted pair with twisted pair and see what the difference is and how we solve the problems that we experience like crosstalk and that kind of stuff. Now here we have uh, data being transmitted from one end to the other and being transmitted back from that end back to the A end. So we have A here and we have Z. So we have data being transmitted from the A end to the Z and then beta being transmitted back from the Z to the A. This is any typical type of transmitter receiver setup. In order for data to be transmitted from A and to Z, you got to, this got to be a transmitter that has to be a receiver and has to be transmitted back as well. So what we have is two single lines here. And data is being used in the red line to transmit it from A to Z and the green line to transmit back from Z to A. So when data is transmitted from A to Z, we have a digital signal here. And the digital signal really are two voltages, um, let's say zero and five volts, and then back to zero. So this change in voltage, what it does is it causes a change in current on the wire. So this current on this wire would be forever changing throughout the duration from A to Z. This change in current caused an electromagnetic field to be developed. This electromagnetic field induces a voltage into the parallel wire. So this wire, which is the other line going from Z back to A, this would experience an induction of voltage. And this induction would become noise. By the time it gets to this end, you'll have a mixture of the signal plus the noise which you would receive here at the receiver and that will be a problem because it will slow the data down or it could completely destroy um, your communication altogether if the noise is very severe. Now the same thing happens when transmitting from the, um, the Z back to the A. Any um, data that's on this side, you have a change in voltage so you have a change in current which generates an electromagnetic field into the red wire as well. So you have noise being generated in this wire. So any data sent from this end back to this end, by the time it gets here, you'll have a mixture of noise and data. Uh, so that is going to be a problem because in this particular setup, you have no way of canceling this noise out at either end, at this end or at this end. So both ends are going to be receiving noise. So uh, this is called crosstalk really and the more severe the crosstalk is the more severe it's going to be. So there's no way to solve this except for, for changing this line to twisted pair. Here. I have here power line. This is really a power line on the top and this line represents a power line and it's attached to two poles. And right under that, we have twisted pair. Now the requirements of twisted pair in order for it to work is that both of these wires has to be the same length and also the same diameter on the inside. The gauge on the inside have to be the same thickness. Now when you buy twisted pair in the reels, they're always like this. They're this it comes this way. They're the same length and it's the same um, gauge on the inside. But I was just looking at the fact that if you had two wires at home and you wanted to make twisted pair out of them for some reason, you will have to take those two wires, twist them together. But before you do that, you will have to make sure that they're the same gauge, the same thickness. 
and also when you twist them together you want to make sure that you cut them the same length okay and so now you have twisted pair now you're going to attach a signal to that twisted pair now instead of attaching a signal like this where you're receiving on one side at the same time you're going to attach a signal where you're transmitting on both wires at the same time on the top wire which is the positive wire the orange wire we're going to transmit a positive signal and on the green wire we're going to transmit a negative signal this is the same identical signal don't think it's a different signal from some of the source It's the same signal we just flip the polarity so now we have the same signal being transmitted on a positive and a negative polarity now the signal transmit onto the orange wire in a positive polarity is going to cause an electromagnetic field to be generated in the positive direction and the negative polarity signal is going to cause an electromagnetic field to develop in a negative direction well because these signals are forever changing throughout the the duration of the the, the transmission line uh, every time this signal goes high this one goes low so they're going to cancel each other out these wires are twisted together and whenever one side goes high the other goes low so the electromagnetic fields are cancelled out each and every time this occurs right until it gets to the end so by the time this signal gets to the end it shouldn't have any crosstalk associated with that signal no noise will be included in that signal you should have a nice clean signal going right through to the receiver now the same thing happens from this end you'll be right after this transmission is completed now this side is going to pick up and it's going to send the data back in the same way with a positive and a negative polarity transmitted from this side back to this side and now this side become the receiver and you would also receive a nice clean signal on this end as well once you follow the same process this all works fine but let's take a look at one other issue that we have is that we have a power line here and this power line is going to radiate an electromagnetic field since this is twisted pair any voltage that is induced into one wire would be induced into the other so both wires will have the same voltage being induced this, this voltage is let's say three volts being induced into the wire now it would be three volts on both the orange and the green wire and if the voltage is positive the, they will both be three volts positive so because this voltage is identical by the time it gets to this end they will both cancel each other out so you will still only get the nice clean signal going through to your receiver at both ends so i went ahead and did some mathematical calculations here in order to show you a little bit more on how these signals are calculated now we have the signal receive here uh say we're sending from this end to this end um we were sending uh plus five volts and neg five volts and so we have neg five volts minus plus five volts at this end so at this end you receive a neg five volts and a plus five volts and what you have to do is to subtract the two and that's how it is done so you got neg five volts minus plus five volts and a minus and a positive give you a minus so you got minus 10 volts total signal at that end is minus 10 volts so for the noise now from the external source which is from the power lines it was a plus three volts so we go and it was plus three volts on both sides as i said the voltage induced into these twisted pair because they're they're twisted together become the same identical voltage we don't have a negative and a positive or we don't have a plus three volts and a plus two volts or whatever 
they're both the same value. If it is plus three on the green wire, it's going to be plus three on the orange wire. So, so here we got plus three volts minus plus three volts. Well, a, a negative and a positive give you a negative. So you have plus three volts minus three volts will give you zero volts. So the noise is canceled. So all the noise coming out here will be canceled. So still, even with the external power source um, radiating and inducing uh, voltage into this wire which cause noise that noise is being able to, we're filled it out here as well and you still have a nice clean signal going through the your equipment my name is Trevor and if you have enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button below I'll be putting out many more videos and you'll be alerted as soon as our videos come out and if there's something that you would like to see that haven't been included so far Please drop me a note and I'll be glad to prepare that video for you as well.